Hi, back to Manny Motion. I'm Evan. And I'm Dom. And today, we're taking this 911 Speedster to Cars and Coffee. Let's go. But first, Dom, you gotta tell us the stats. So today, we have a Porsche 4 liter flat six pushing out 502 horsepower, 346 pound feet of torque through a six speed manual transmission and it's rear wheel drive. Yes. This is the most one. raw Porsche <laughs> of the 991.2 generation that you could get without, no, without a roof. Right. This is the, it's the most hardcore uh, <laughs> convertible. Uh, Possibly currently, ever. Currently produced, to be honest. Possibly so, because the 992 generation does not have a speedster yet. Yeah, that is true. But so this right here is actually not a like a normal 911 convertible. It's actually the GT3 with the roof cho roof chopped off. It's got the crazy, uh, almost like chicken wire mesh in the front with yeah. the grill. This this big air in intake in the front. It's also got a sticker the instead Porsche of the sticker <laughs> instead of the badge to yeah. save weight. Even though this is a essentially a luxury vehicle. Uh, but man, it doesn't sound good. drive like one though. It sure doesn't drive like a luxury vehicle. It drives like an absolute maniac and sounds like one too. So I, I, we're really excited to take it out today. Yep. Uh, we're going to Zoombox and the Hayfields today, so we got a double episode again. Uh, we hope you liked it with the previous one. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be doing that, and let's just get going. Climbing in the Speedster. Ooh, where's the roof? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, you just see the sky. It's gone. <laughs> the beautiful trees. The trees. Um, so we got them in the speedster. This interior is pretty familiar to us, to be honest. Yeah. Um, it's it's the exact same interior pretty much as the 991.2 GTS we just did, and so and that was also a cabriolet. So uh, we're yep. back, right back in it. So yeah, I'm gonna skip right to it. We got the manual transmission right up here, six-speed manual, uh, different than the GT uh, 4 GTS. Yeah, because the 4 GTS has a seven speed mm -hmm. and this has a six speed because the seven speed is supposed to be a luxury highway gear mm -hmm. which this is, you don't need that in this you thing. don't need that in this because <laughs> why would you be going on the highway unless it's to a racetrack I don't, yeah exactly uh but this is an interesting com interesting combination of things because it's mm -hmm. a sort of track car but has the convertible to it exactly um, the convertible top by the way is super interesting right now we're going to show you some footage of us putting it up and down it's yeah it's totally weird because it's actually not a power top so first you open the clamshell which is one gigantic carbon fiber piece exactly and then you bring the top up with your buddy or by yourself if you're lonely <laughs> and <laughs> Then you fold down the little Batman wings. Yeah. After you close the clamshell, you fold down the Batman wings. Then there's a little piece up top, and that's the only powered part of this. Yeah. It's the only powered part. Just to latch it the into latch. the windshield. Um, I feel like it would have been so easy just to have a little handle. But the whole theme of this car is to just not have the top on at all. Yeah, no, exactly. They designed it, the, they actually designed the look of this car without the top in mind at all. They just had to add it in. Customers would have been like, what the heck? Speaking of the back again, we have these big humps in the back to kind of signify it's the Speedster. Yep. Going back generations of 911 Speedsters, they've always had the humps in the back. Yep. Um, but this, in this car specifically, it actually has, it has a bit of a side effect. It actually has storage behind the seats. That's pretty cool. For your helmets. Yeah, take, but for taking it to the track, you're not driving it to. <laughs> taking it to the track. <laughs> driving it to the track so that you can get in your GT3. Right. And then track and it. And track it. Because nobody, nobody in their right mind would track this. <laughs> this. So this car has been done by a lot of different uh, YouTubers. Doug's done it. Straight Pipes have done this car. Yep. Uh, we're just really happy we get to do it today. Yeah. Um, but one of the things that they have mentioned is kind of the weird mix of, like, it's faux lightweight. It has the lightweight elements from the GT3, but mm -hmm. it's definitely luxury in here. We got leather dashboard. We have the screens. We have like climate Huge control. Huge screen. Yeah. Just and everything looks super just not race car-y. And, and, but then you also have the loops for door handles. Yeah. And that's kind of a funny thing. Cause it's like, yeah. you know, it's all again, same thing with the, the badge up front. Like it's almost Why? like they they did it to be as a consolation prize almost. Yeah. Because um, when you buy a Speedster, <laughs> you expect it to be a race car. <laughs> so, but you want the race car experience. I think that the you'll hear when we start it up. The sound is just incredible. In oh this yeah, car. I think we should 100% start it. We up. need to start it up. Uh, but first, you got to look past the steering wheel. It's on the left side yeah. of the steering wheel. Of course, all Porsches are. Um, the steering wheel, by the way, I want to mention real quick, doesn't have any buttons on it. It's 
all driver focused. It's all driving experience focused. So we don't have any button. That is possibly one of my favorite steering wheels. It is quite nice. It's so we got the key right here. I'm gonna go ahead and insert it. It's actually, this is the key. So you actually put it into the slot of uh, kind of the car facing towards you. It, all the gauge cluster stuff lights up. Speaking of gauge cluster, gigantic tack in the middle. Yeah. This thing revs to 9,000 RPM. Nine grand. Nine Which grand. means a symphony. 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 Let's activate that symphony. Let's, let's, condu let's conduct, let's if you will. <laughs> Okay, pretty tame startup. It's 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 very actually, tame startup. It is uh, warm, of course, so we don't have. Um, oh, there it goes. Can we put the exhaust? Put the loud exhaust on. Uh, yeah. In the center console, we have a ton of different buttons here. Yeah. One of them being the exhaust button. Uh, we also have spoiler, auto blip, suspension, ESC, traction control, nose lift, everything you'd need. Yeah, right here, and they're all physical buttons. One of the things that we can do because it's warm, of course, mm -hmm. is rev it again. Of course, this is a very loud vehicle. And there is... There's no one around. Uh, Again, yeah. the people in this area, we apologize. We apologize. Yeah. We have, well, that was barely four grand. We're going to get it on the road after Zoombox and really ring it out. Oh, yeah. Let's get going. See you there. Uh, let's roll out to Hayfields. Alright, there's some there's a guy standing around here. Let's see if we can scare him. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, and we're pulling out of zoom box. Zoom box. Zoom box. Okay, I have a controversial opinion. <laughs> this might be one of the best sounding cars. You know what? It's hard stepping out of an 812 into this, I was saying earlier, because it's like, it is so, the 812 is so insane, but man, this is, this is so freaking cool. Oh this my thing, God. It sounds so good. And it just, it's, it's very engaging. It's a very engaging car. Everything about it, is a different experience. I'm getting very philosophical on us. I'm sorry. All good. We got our coffee from Zoombox. We're heading out to Hayfields right now. Zoombox, please sponsor us. <laughs> rolling out of, hashtag Zoombox sponsor us. <laughs> I was rolling around town in New Canaan here. Yeah. The, the one thing I think I've noticed the most is how almost less drivable this is than the four GTS. Yeah. It's it's harder to drive. It, it's it's a more serious car. You can tell immediately when you start getting out, getting going. I think it's also not even that aspect, but it's a lot stiffer. So much stiffer. And it feels so much more race car, which makes sense because this is a GT3 essentially. But I I'd feel like if you were gonna make a GT3 convertible similar to the touring similar to other things you want it to be drivable and comfortable which this isn't not comfortable it's just not if i was going for comfort i'd get a turbo exactly and anyone who is going for comfort wants the turbo yeah. but if you're going for you know the greatest driving experience a porsche can offer and in my opinion probably the the whole ethos of porsche in general really is like the kind of cruising aspect and taking some back roads, taking a canyon road. Yeah. And you want the wind in your hair. You want the convertible. And here, hold on. We're going up to a bit of a straightaway here. We got a turn coming up. Take the corners, dead flat. We got a Tesla. Second gear. Boom. Holy 
Man, we're so fast. Oh my god. Listen to it. Woo! Of course. Hey, friend. Let's go. This car is unbelievable. Uh, I, I, the windows up. <laughs> I, I hope the audio didn't. Is oh my unbelievable. God. Oh my, hold on. We got that it. wasn't even loud exhaust. Now loud exhaust is on. to that oh. come on i'm i'm done dude cool. how do you yeah. go we can... back to back probably to my favorite cars i've ever driven come on dude, <laughs> that thing is just Woo this is the most sensational thing to bring to 9,000 rpm <laughs> i mean i've never i i also bought a blip on a little bit i'll turn it off later to feel out, see how it really feels but That's like six grand, it sounds like that. Yeah. Wow. It, I gotta say. This thing truly is special. It, special, special. It's so good, and it's just. It's good I, in a Porsche way. It's useless, yeah. It's good in like the way that it, it, ha it has no harshness about it. It's, got, yeah. it's just effortless and fun. And the rear-wheel drive of it all makes it feel like the rear end's yeah. gonna come out anytime you step on it. And it's just a fun, fun car. And it, it handles well. The manual transmission is probably one of the greatest transmissions ever put into a car. Bolt action, you know, sniper rifle, whatever you wanna call it, it's fantastic. I wish I could experience this, but I don't even know. It's just so, even from the passenger seat, it's just so raw and so, put together yeah I think the speed that I mean Porsche has done the Speedster for decades they've yeah, had no. one going all the way back to like the really early generations of 911 and and even like the 356 Speedster was kind oh, of yeah. the original that was made for like the Californian market and all these other things and 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 this is obviously not it's like a race car that you chop the roof off and you get to just experience it and wow 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 yeah, it's it's just it's a Porsche. This thing is so comfortable. I the seats feel so nice. All the leather, all the touch points feel great. The window, the door handle, everything. No matter where I put my hand, no matter where I touch, it all feels premium and amazing. They know how to do an interior so well. Definitely. I mean, it's it really is just amazing. And I mean, and cruising around, like, it, again, you feel it solid. I can just feel the portionness in the steering. You can feel it as it goes around the corner, it kind of load up and you shoot out of a corner. You feel so confident in this thing. Yeah. Even though it's got a ton of power and it's only rear wheel drive, it's just, you just feel like you can go as fast as you like around corners. What more fantastic. could you want? Yeah, what more do you want? Like, I guess the more you want is a A12. Yeah. I think this is probably the only car I've driven that really rivals it in my mind in terms of being fun yeah. because while the 812 is it's psychotically fast it's got like double the torque that this car yeah. has or something like you know something insane it's it's obviously incredibly gorgeous and this is just a porsche but i think yeah. it's the best looking porsche of them all definitely like, it, it looks amazing because of the bumble and like without the roof it looks so good and everything and powerful convertible porsche is one of the most beautiful things i can imagine it's so good yeah Besides it, a fast, convertible, powerful Ferrari. Ferrari. Right, right. <laughs> but, all, but the Ferrari, importantly, does not offer the six-speed manual. That is true. We're manual motion. We so this is better. Manuals. So this is better. This might be number one. It's just fantastic. This is so good. This is by far probably one of the best cars we've reviewed on the channel. Listen. Or even. I just love. It revs so fast. I, I, I have it in like the uh, auto blip mode. Look how fast it revs. That's half, half revs, dude. Half revs. So the C4 GTS, that thing was very, we said in our video, it was almost the perfect daily because it's fast, it's fun, it's more than comfortable. It's a luxury car. It's got four wheel drive. It's got four winter, wheel drive. You can do winter with it, convertible, exactly. you can do it in the summer. This is a whole different level of mm -hmm. psychotic. 
But it's weird because you look at the interior and it is almost exactly the same. Almost exactly the same, yeah. But but you, <laughs> it, they do not feel anything close to the same. No. They're not, e again, it's hard to convey and I, I people, people, yeah, see, starting off is a bit difficult, but like, people say that a lot of time with Porsches, like they feel so different. They do, they just are so different. Yeah. I love accelerating this car. There's no oh way you gosh. guys cannot hear this. I'm gonna turn actually auto blip off and keep that off for the rest of the time because Whoa. I want to feel how fast it revs. It revs incredibly quickly. Porsche friend. Porsche. Yeah, Porsche. Yeah. Let's go. He wave. All right, I'm gonna downshift into third. Oh my god, so fast. Second wow. gear. And. Wow, wow. <laughs> it's so fast. And Dude. sounds on if you love that Porsche sound, that flat six, like just that angry that, like mean sound. Bellow. It's uh, it is as the A12 was an instrument. You just want to play it all day long. This thing is uh, on something. It's on I don't one, know whether dude. it's steroids, <laughs> drugs. It's on something. You know what? Because there's no way Porsche from factory was like, "Here you go. I We're gonna they do gave, that." They sold this to people. They sold How this to people. How do they do people. this? Why? <laughs> well, I know exactly why, but why? We're taking a right turn. Fourth, third, second. Wait, that was an auto play? Nope. Wow. And the way this thing takes a corner, and it's so compliant on the road. It's, it's yeah. compliant suspension-wise, but you can tell the chassis is just rigid. Yeah. Like, it's, it's... It's similar to how, like, a roller coaster feels, where it's, like, <laughs> smooth, but you know it's, like, metal on metal, and it's, like, yeah. it's, it's, like, bumpy smooth. I don't know how to describe <laughs> it. This, yeah. yeah. I think, I think part, you know what? I'm going to keep, continue with that roller coaster analogy. This car, like how we were mentioning before, how, what, what's it on? It feels like it's on rails. It, it, drives like it's on, it, it drives on rails. Because you really feel like it doesn't have like the most insane amount of power. It doesn't have 800 horsepower. No. But 500 is plenty to get the rear end stepping out if you don't pay attention to what you're doing. Not as crazy looking as some other cars. Not that this looks bad, but like it's not, no, as, it's, not, it's not wild looking. It's not like the GT3 or the GT3 RS where it has the crazy canards, the crazy huge wing, the crazy colors. This is so understated, and so if you know, you know. Totally. Which the people at Zoombox didn't know. Yeah, they the, were a guy, storming it. A guy walked up to us and was like, "I've never seen one of these before in my life." Reached out, shook my hand, and was like, "This is amazing. Thank you." Yeah. And that is what these cars are about. They're well, yeah. About. They're just, so. They're all. They're also so rare. Yeah. They're they're only nineteen hundred and an X amounts. Yeah. And they're really not making what? more of these things. They're, manual transmission. Thankfully, Porsche is making more manuals, so Thank you. we can't we can't Thank say you. exactly this is like the end of a end generation, because it's really not. But yeah, and man, does it feel fantastic to drive? Yeah, just fantastic. <laughs> I again, similar to last video. Don't know what to say. I don't know where else I'd rather be. Yeah. Than driving a manual Porsche Speedster around around Connecticut. <laughs> so we're getting to Hayfields in a few minutes. We want to see what's there. And we will see you there. We'll see you there. Thanks so much okay. for watching. Let's, uh, let's get going. Let's get going.
And that was our trip to Cars and Coffee for Zoombox and Hayfields. It was a blast. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, check out our Instagram. It's manymotion underscore YT. And uh, be sure to subscribe. We got a ton more videos just like this coming up soon. Uh, we're really excited about it. And thank you so much to the owner for letting us borrow this completely amazing car. It truly means the world to us because we just, we just love these cars we so much. We love the cars so much. Yeah. yeah, we had a blast. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And hold on. It, All right, we're good. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, Accord. Thank you, Accord. We love you, Accord.